hello everybody welcome to my channel if you are new to my channel hi i'm anastasia welcome to my channel and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to my channel today's video is going to be about the bronze tone lotion so guys before we dive right into this video if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please make sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and turn on your post notifications so whenever i get to post any video you all will be notified so without wasting any time let's just dive right into the video yeah, this video is going to be about the bronze stone lotion and I'm just going to jump right into the description of this lotion Okay, the bronze stone lotion is a moisturizing formula with cocoa butter and honey extracts with UV protection It removes undesirable spots and leaves your skin soft and glowing and it gives it a radiant bronze complexion a friend of mine actually in 2018 she was using this lotion and she was like kind of a dark skinned person and like a caramel caramel skin tone person and when she was using this lotion oh my god it was really really good on her and i decided to get this lotion for myself back then in 2018 and i think i used it for about two to three months and the lotion didn't do anything for my skin at all i believe it didn't do anything for my skin because i am a fair person okay so when you want to use this lotion and you are a dark skin person or you are a caramel skin tone person this lotion is going to be really good on your skin because it is like i i feel like the lotion is specifically made for um dark skinned or brown chocolate um girls okay or boys because it's a unisex lotion okay so this bronze stone lotion if you are a fair person and you want to use this lotion there is a high possibility that it is not going to do anything for your skin but it's just going to moisturize your skin because the lotion is really really moisturizing when i use this lotion my god my skin wasn't dry at all the lotion really really helped to moisturize my skin and this lotion contains zinc oxide and zinc oxide is a form of like a uv protection um helps to protect your skin from the sun so this lotion contains zinc oxide and anything that has zinc oxide in it is really really good okay and it also contains propylene glycol and propylene glycol like acts as a humectant and it helps to draw water into your skin so when you are using this lotion you are rest assured that it's going to work very well on your body because it has propylene glycol which helps to like you know take in you know the lotion very well deep into your skin and have it at the back of your mind that if you are using the bronze stone lotion it is going to tone your complexion but it is not going to bleach you but it's just going to tone your complexion i believe that toning of complexion is better than bleaching okay it is just going to um help to tone your complexion a little bit is not going to bleach it's not going to do anything because when i used this i didn't even notice anything on my skin at all but when my friend used it like her color was shiny like her color became brighter like she she didn't bleach like it didn't bleach her but it just made her look you know brighter like a, a brown skin color was really popping and it was really nice on her, on her skin and i would say that if you are using any lotion of any kind make sure you don't use the lotion for very long periods okay if you are using this bronze tone lotion it is really good on your skin don't use it for more than five months okay five months is okay when you have gotten the complexion that you want you can now go for a like a basic moisturizing cream to help to maintain your skin color okay don't use like lightning lotions for longer than six months or five months don't use lightning lotions for longer than six six to five months some people like when they've gotten to the color they want they would still want to become whiter and whiter and whiter and that is actually not really good okay so when you are using this lotion please do not use it for more than five months or six months if you have gotten the complexion that you want and you're okay with it then you can just go for a very good moisturizing cream you know to help to moisturize your body not a toning or a whitening cream just something that's going to moisturize your body and a lot of people have been saying that this lotion actually costs them dark knuckles i would say that if you are using this lotion and you don't want to have dark knuckles or you are watching this review right now because you want to get this lotion make sure that when you are using this lotion and and you want to apply it on your hands make sure that you make a fist like do something like this just take a little bit of the lotion like this take a little bit of the lotion like this and you just want to rub it on your palm like this and make a fist like apply the lotion really really well on your knuckles 
by doing so you are not going to have dark knuckles okay make sure you make a fist when you're applying the lotions and focus more on areas like your knuckles and your elbows and your knees when you're applying any lightening or toning lotion make sure you focus on your elbows really really well but if you are the type that you are really really scared of having knuckles and you don't want to take chances just make sure that after applying the lotions on, on your body after applying the lotion on your body make sure you wash your hands wash your hands completely and use shea butter or you can use vaseline instead on your hands that is if you're the kind of person that you are really really scared of knuckles and you don't want to take chances you believe that the um you believe that the making of fists is not going to work for you make sure you wash your hands after applying the lotion so guys a lot of people also said that this lotion actually caused them stretch mark like it gave them stretch mark okay make sure you avoid putting the lotions on your inner arms i've said this before in one of my videos do not put the lotions on areas where you can actually have stretch mark okay just try and put the lotions on other parts of your body but those sensitive areas of your body like your inner arms that the skin is very thin here please don't put lotions on those areas of your body and by that way you are avoiding stretch mark and hopefully you will not have any stretch mark okay so guys we've come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next video until then goodbye guys